All right, guys, welcome back to another Stogie Lads cigar video. Not a review this time. Uh, by popular demand, a lot of people have actually asked me to talk a little about accessories, what accessories I have, different types of cuts, things of that nature. Uh, so I'm going to go into that today, uh, speak a little about different lighters, different cutters, and uh, stuff like that, and uh, hope you guys learned something. All right, so before we begin, uh, just talking about the anatomy of the cigar. Why do we even need to cut in the first place? Now, as you can see, there's a, always a cap on a cigar. Uh, this obviously blocks you from being able to smoke at all. Now, why do we have this? Well, uh, the principal reason is that a cigar is combined by different layers, right? And this, as you can see, the leaf, the outside leaf that's wrapped around like this in a spiral is the wrapper. Uh, now, the only thing hindering this from just, you know, sort of unraveling is the cap which is glued on by a natural sort of just pectin sugar glue of, yeah, nat completely natural. Uh, so that's why the cap is there uh, for the first reason. So because a lot of people that haven't smoked a cigar, they'll just grab a cutter and, you know, just sort of cut here or wherever. They'll do a really deep cut. That takes off the entirety of the cap. And the whole reason of it being there is sort of null and void, and the cigar can often unravel on you. So that's uh, a really important reason of why we even cut cigars in the first place, why they even have a cap. It's not just, you know, <laughs> aesthetics or whatever. It, it, there actually is a reason. So now that I've taken out this cutter, I might as well talk about it. This is the most, you know, sort of standard cigar cutter, the one that you, people recognize the most. It's a standard double blade. So as you can see, there's two blades that I can manually open and close just a guillotine sort of cutter. And this just it does a complete straight cut. You wanna just take the cutter and cut the top of the cigar, opening it. So that's the most standard. This is by Prometheus, this is a really high quality one. Uh, it looks probably pretty scratched in this light, but it's a nice cutter. Those are, are the ones that you'll find most usually, and they're usually the cheapest. Uh, here's another version of a, of a, a dual blade guillotine cutter, but this one, is called a Zycar XO. Uh, this is just to show, this is the one I use most normally. It's very, very high quality. Pretty expensive, but pretty worth it. What's good about this cutter is that it works uh, with gears. So you see, I only, I'm only pressing on one and both of the blades are uh, closing uh, uh, together at the same time. That usually gives you a really straight and controlled cut. Whereas with this one, you could sort of in slow motion sort of cut like this. So one blade goes first and then the other one, and that can sort of squeeze the cigar. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but this is just sort of nice, but it's pretty chunky as you can see, and it's not that easy on the go, hence why I also have this one. Uh, now, there is a, another normal cutter called a punch cut. I'm gonna put it on the screen, both how the cutter looks and uh, the effect of the cut. I don't have one and I don't really ever use punch cuts. I think they're good for on the go. You can easily have one on your keychain, but they tend to make a really small hole. And with Cuban cigars, the draw is usually already pretty tight, so that doesn't help. And they can also, you know, the hole is so small that a lot of tar can build up on the cigar, which I don't really like. Uh, so a punch cut for me is not something I use, but I will put it on the screen so you guys know what it is. Uh, and then there is a third very popular type called a V-cut. Now, I just picked this up recently. Actually, I don't V-cut too often, but I do like to have one every once in a while. So I picked up this pretty cheap one called Firebird. It's by Colibri, a very famous brand. So it is very high quality. Uh, now, as you can see, a V-cut cuts a V. So you can see that it's a sort of angled cut here. Um, and I will demonstrate this on this... Uh, Leaf by Oscar. So I'll show you the different cuts. Uh, let's see, I hope I don't choke this here. Yeah, so that was a good solid cut, very sharp cutter. And you can see it makes a V. Uh, so it actually has, even though this, the draw looks, or the opening looks very small, since it, it's angled, it actually is a pretty big open draw. And I'm gonna try the draw here. Yeah, it's a perfect draw on the cigar. Uh, very, very nice cutting style. Uh, some people say that it sort of uh, focuses the smoke and makes the, the smoking experience a little more intense. I find that it just, a lot of it is just basically looks, so it doesn't change it too much. Maybe it's placebo, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't actually notice it, but I don't think it changes that much. Then you can do a double V-cut, and it makes this sort of crown cut is what it's called. <laughs> Uh, looks kind of crazy, uh, but that V-cut is a really nice cutting style, and uh, it's preferred by a lot of people. 
uh, but obviously the most famous is the straight cut. So when you straight cut a cigar, and I'm going to do this here with this Port of Gothenburg, what you really want to do is take as little as possible because it's just a leaf, right? So it's leaf thin here, so you just want to remove the top to make sure you don't uh, damage the cigar. So I like to measure up like this, just, you know, put stop it, the cutter, I just take a little bit and like that, I snip it off. Very nice cut by Zykar always. Then just sort of scrape it off and you can see, hopefully, how much of the wrapper is still left, how much of the shoulder of that wrapper is still left. So I haven't damaged any of the cap. There's so much left and I just got the top off. Perfect draw on this cigar as well, nice open draw. And that's how you want to cut a cigar. So make sure you don't take too much off. That's a rookie mistake, and I did that mistake all the time, trust me. So, um, you know, I actually never had a cigar unravel badly on me, but it definitely did happen. Uh, I just didn't really know where to cut, you know, and it felt like more controlled to cut further down, but it actually will work against you. So there you have two of the main cuts, really. I mean, some people do use punch often, but I think it's more an on-the-go thing. Uh, people don't use it too much. Uh, so yeah, the V-cut and the straight cut are the most normal. Now, I mentioned some brands. I think the best ones are really Zykar and Colibri. They have, uh, they have a lifetime warranty and really good construction. You really want to spend more money on a cutter uh, than you might be comfortable. It, it is a good investment. Like, cigars are a pretty expensive hobby, so at the end of the day, it's worth it to have a quality cutter. I've had this for like three years. Same with this one, and they still, I mean, as you could see, it still is a very razor sharp, perfect cut. So I don't need to worry about it destroying my cigars. Because what, what can happen with a cheap cutter is when you cut and it's blunt, it just sort of squeezes the cigar and squeezes the cap off because the blades don't cut through, and then it can crack the cigar and it's just not worth it. I mean, you're gonna end up spending more on broken cigars than the, the cutter in a long run. I mean, this is like a $100 cutter, but I've had it for three years, so you know, if I have it for like three, four, five, six more years, you know, it's very, very little I'm paying per year, just assuring that my cigars are cut well. Uh, so that is it for cutting the cigar. I hope that cleared it up. Now moving on to lighters. This is also a very big topic. Now I must say I'm not a big accessory guy. I prefer to spend more on my cigars. I like to have, you know, quality accessories that I can keep, but I don't have many. I don't collect many different types. Uh, that can be seen in the fact that I just bought this V cutter now and I bought a very cheap one just for functionality because I'm not huge on getting tons of tons of accessories But I have a few lighters now the first one I'm going to show is the simplest one and for a beginner it works perfectly fine Even though there are conflicting attitudes online now This is a cutter that it, this is not a lighter. I use this is just one that was laying around the house I don't use this lighter, but this is what you would call a soft flame so it is your classic you know, lighter flame that people use to light cigarettes, candles, whatever. That's a soft flame lighter. Um, this is just a Bic, and a lot of people online, I thought for, you know, my first year or so smoking cigars that you couldn't use this. I was always told don't use this type of lighter, but it's perfectly fine. It actually uses butane, normal butane gas, the same gas that you'd use in any premium lighter, so it won't taint the flavor of your cigars at all. It works perfectly fine. Now, the reason I don't use a Bic is or any soft flame at all for that matter, is that th this doesn't use outside. This doesn't work outside. As you see, a little bit of wind and it goes out. So if I'm outside at all, which I, I only do smoke outside at home, I have a balcony here and I don't smoke indoors, so it's very hard to use this, even a small breeze and, you know, I mean, you see the flame just moves around a lot, it's very hard to light. But there are people that do love soft flame lighters because they feel like it's a more controlled, relaxed experience. So you have, you know, ST DuPont, a lot of people know that brand. It's one of the most famous ones in the world. They have extremely expensive, you know, like two, three hundred US dollar uh, soft flame lighters that people use in their own private lounges. Now, if I do have a lounge sometime in the future, I might uh, use one of those. Uh, but now I don't. Now, you can also use with matches, of course. A lot of people do that. Uh, I do have matches. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going <laughs> to show people matches. I think everyone knows what matches. I don't use matches though for the same reason that I don't use a soft flame lighter. It just is impossible outdoors pretty much. Uh, you can also light a cedar 
Uh, so I actually have cedar wood here. This is actually from a Bahiki box. I wouldn't like this, but you can use sheets of cedar and you can just break a piece off, light that, and then use the burning wood and light your cigars. A lot of purists like that. It's a very, you know, simple, pure way of lighting your cigar and people claim that it doesn't taint the flavor. Although using butane odorless gases won't taint the flavor at all, obviously. Uh, and I've taken up that tainting cigars thing a few times. Uh, some people like like their Zippo lighters. They have and collect Zippo lighters that use lighter fluid. You really don't want to do that because lighter fluid has a strong odor and strong flavor that'll taint the flavor of your cigar. It'll put chemicals uh, in you know the lit part of your cigar that'll infiltrate and make it taste really bad. And the whole reason of smoking a cigar is flavor, right? So then you've wasted it. Another type of lighter, most common, I think, among, you know, non-novice smokers is a jet lighter. So you can see that, yeah, I'll put my hands, so you can see that burning blue jet, just putting butane in. This is my Prometheus Retro. It is really, really slim and portable. Again, it'll look really scratched in this light, but it actually looks <laughs> nice in real life. This is a very expensive, but very, very good investment. Another accessory that I've had for over three years now, it just works without problem all the time. I've never ever had an issue with this lighter. It has a perfect, you know, controlled jet flame that is so easy to light your cigar. No wind will uh, make this flame go out. It's very, very reliable, works perfectly. And I love this. I can bring it anywhere. Uh, it actually has more fuel in it than it looks. I can light several, many, many, many cigars with this before I have to refill it. And I love this. And Jet Fuels is, you know, they're popular because they're so easy to light on the go. Here's another one by a brand that sent this to us. I think they're defunct now, actually, but the Bullet Lighter. This one has a much bigger flame, a lot bigger tank. And as you can see, it's a lot bigger as well. This is sort of your table lighter style. Uh, I have this at home on the balcony. Uh, it's very easy to light your cigar, but it's hard to correct with a big flame like this. But I prefer jet fuel or jet flame lighters just because, you know, these are so easy to light your cigar with. It stays so consistent and the wind doesn't mess it up. As you can see, the, the flame stays consistent even though I shake it and all that stuff. Uh, and the way you want to light a cigar, I'm not going to show indoors because I don't smoke indoors, but you want to take your flame and then, I'm not going to get too close, but you want to sort of hover the cigar over the flame and rotate it. A lot of people put the cigar in their mouths and then puff in and, and light it like a cigarette. That won't really give you a very even burn and it'll sort of burn your cigar and make it sort of harsh tasting in the beginning. You wanna slowly, with just the cig cigar in your left hand, lighter in your right hand or whatever, you just wanna sort of slowly toast and slowly let it light like this, rotating, making sure it's completely even. Then you can just blow a little on the cigar here and then you, you can puff without even using the lighter when the cigar's in your mouth and it'll be perfectly lit. Lighting your cigar evenly and well is key in making sure the cigar burns evenly and you really want an even burn to make sure that wrapper continues and every th all three parts of the cigar burn consistently. So those are the main three parts. So if you are a beginner, if you, you everyone pretty much has a big lighter at home, you can use this perfectly. It won't ruin your cigar the first time before you buy a cigar lighter. But I, pro I do recommend if you get into the game, you know, I spent $100 on this or something and it's worked perfectly for years and years and years. It'll probably work for many, many more years to come. It is worth the investment. So those are the, you know, three sort of ish ways to light and to cut your cigar. I hope that this, you know, helped everyone. I hope everyone uh, was uh, learned something here and I hope everyone uh, found it interesting and saw you know, people that have asked what are my accessories. These two are probably the ones I use the most. I love the slider, I love this cutter, but for a V-cut every once in a while, this Firebird comes in handy. And when I'm on the go, you know, this very th slim Prometheus combo works perfectly as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned, I think this is the next cigar I'm gonna review, the Leaf by Oscar Connecticut that I just cut now, so that'll explain in the next video why I'm not cutting in the, in the video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next review. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.